In fact, I will speak about purely applied uh, aspects of our studies. It is very difficult uh, for perception because we've had uh, uh, fundamental studies before, but uh, my studies are purely applied for the last 15 years in terms of hepatitis in the 20-something years, HIV infection as well. Unfortunately, in Belarus, all our studies have to be uh, purely applied. No need to tell you about the topicality of B, C, hepatitis viruses, you see WHO data prevalence of HEP B and C and their combination. And you see that these infections are highly topical on a year-to-year -year basis. In terms of the classification, you also know these seven different uh, genotypes of HEP C. They also may be seen with various incidents all over the world. There are data for the Russian Federation and Belarus not much difference between them. Have be the same 10 genotypes, a lot of sub-genotypes in various regions of the world, including Russia and in the Republic of Belarus. All these viruses have B, C, do not stay in one place. The population may increase and the viruses also. And different variants of the viruses are distributed all over the world. It is worthwhile to track and trace it. And that's what we are doing for a long period of time. If we speak about the prevalence of Hep B and C, these are the calculations when I saw them. I felt uneasy, 85,000 Hep B cases and more than 330,000 cases of Hep C, chronic cases. That's our epidemiologist data. We started studying viral hepatitis from the beginning of 2000s. The first publication of ours together with the uh, researchers from Luxembourg. The studies were carried out in 2003-2005. Look at this uh, figure, 53.8% uh, is 1B genotype and 38.53A genotype. In Starting from 2007, we started carrying out all these uh, studies in our republic. The structure changed a little bit, but the ratio of this 1B, 3A, Hep C did not change. You see different periods. Some other variants were added to A to C, recombinant forms, but the ratio of 1B to 3A was not changing. Why is it this important? It was important in terms of treating. We used to treat uh, the patients with pedulated interferon and ribavirin. Hence, we had to know the genotype of the virus. You know that 25% of Hep C patient, first B genotype, responded to PEG interferon plus ribavirin therapy. Patients with 3R genotype responded a little bit better. 63% overall, 68% uh, were the first genotype and 26% 3A genotype. There is also the fourth genotype that is, was uh, difficult, uh, did not respond to therapy. There were some recombinant forms. Sergei Mukamolov from Pasteur Institute in St. Petersburg described these viruses, the same variants. Uh, uh, were found in Belarus as well. That's why we sequence them uh, in two regions as a must. Cluster analysis is of great use because it allows 
to define where these viruses come from and decode cases connected with hyperinfection of hep C or nosocomial cases when the patients were infected in the hospitals or drug users. Uh, you see the first genotype is most often associated with drug users. Genotype 1B is interesting in itself. There are 12 clusters. General common source, but different viruses and different uh, variants. But the genotype is 1B1. And the same distribution in terms of clusters, artificial way. Because it was, there were different groups, different clusters. In the majority of cases, they were not interconnected. They were pertained to the same clade and uh, classified together on the tree. And this um, ID use or injection drugs uh, uses. If in Grodno and Brest region, we have one A and three uh, A subgenotypes. In Gomel region, we have one B among ID use. We can track these groups as well because with the help of cluster analysis we may see uh, the other variants of virus as well. This is 3A subgenotype, very interesting, very many clusters broken down in different uh, districts and regions of Belarus. And the districts where we have uh, more ideas. Second genotype is interesting. The viruses are not interconnected, aside for some cases of 2L subgenotype, which were the familial uh, lots. I, a mother and father were uh, Hep C infected, and the children as well. And these are recombinant forms, very interesting from the point of view of therapy, because if you take the standard CoE1, uh, 2K, uh, when we treated with PEG interferon, the second genotype was uh, subject to therapy, but the response was not as good as expected, because uh, in terms of S5, the virus is uh, NS5 is the virus is the same as 3A. We have different recombinant forms, both from Saint Petersburg and Mongolia. Sergei Mukamolov once uh, described the same thing for Saint Petersburg. This slide in itself is interesting because these are uh, children with oncohematology or the children receiving multiple transfusions. We have patients with hemophilia, but this variant of the virus, only one case, uh, that was one D1B recombinant uh, form, one pediatric case. Since we carried out the research, With the infectionists, starting from 2017, the infectionists started treating patients with Hep C. Our colleagues uh, from Georgia delivered uh, direct uh, action drugs, DADs to us, and uh, we started studying the resistance to uh, these drugs. The same situation is uh, 
uh, in the Russian Federation, the, as soon as we start treating with antivirals, uh, one or of the variants of resistance to these antivirals comes onto stage. Hep C, a very interesting pie. This is 2003-2005. Uh, the same study with the colleagues from Luxembourg. And now look at the structure. 2D subtype of uh, Hep B uh, accounts for 2.3 percent. 16.3 is D3. Next, if we look at the structure, it practically doesn't change. These are the data for various districts for 2011-2013, and uh, this is 2011-2018. D2 subgenotype in blue is domineering. If we take all our 10 genotypes, we'll have 82-83% of all cases connected with viral hep BD genotype. The genotype is most resistant and refractory to treatment. We need combined therapy, hyperturbocities, uh, plus again interferon. <coughs> Here is the structure. Vis a vis Russian Federation, it's not much difference in Belarus. Almost same data. Before C2, our imported cases, C2 that was brought from China. Before it was brought from Vietnam, a student came from Vietnam to become a student of our university and brought along before variant. Before it's uh, viruses uh, which people bring along from their vacation from Turkey, from India, before uh, variants and recombinant forms. Uh, there are two recombinant forms, Magilov and Vitebs region. These are all local ones. Uh, uh, locals uh, uh, contacted with foreign ones because there are A, B, and C, D variants of the recombination. That's the way it looks like on the chart. Looks rather fancy, different colors. As to genotypes, we keep controlling them. That is the data on Minsk region, not in other regions. It's just about the same data with the predominance of D genotype. In second case, uh, places D2 genotypes of virus. Uh, the treatment is there. Drugs are used. Uh, uh, there are mutations of resistance uh, in these patients. Uh, they also evolve. Evolve, so uh, we have to change uh, the uh, regimen for treatment. And then HIV infection and AIDS. I keep updating the slides in this graph. You can see the dynamics of HIV infection development in Belarus. I'm here to remind you. Until 1996, there were 113 cases. In 1996, in Svetlogorsk, there was an outbreak of invention, more than 1,000 uh, uh, cases. Uh, and a recent data for April, there are 27. Point, uh, uh, there are more than 27,000 patients we have. And more than 2,000 patients annually, new patients we identify uh, for uh, Republic of Belarus. That's a lot because there is the regression of the population, which is diminishing. Uh, there is the distribu redistribution of the mechanisms of infection as of the 1st of April. In 80% of all the instances of uh, this uh, infection, is uh, uh, sexual contacts, hetero and homosexual so sexual contacts, and also by parental uh, ways. Although, as to Minsk, uh, last year, 
uh, 56% of all the cases of HIV infections were uh, related to uh, parenteral way, uh, that is for drug addicts. Since 1989, we keep track of those viruses. These are the very first done data we did together with my friend Lukashov a long time ago. These are important cases, African ones. Africans and FSU virus, uh, they see and key uh, variants of the virus. It's very small uh, sample. Uh, there was a sequencing of viruses, so it's the structure slightly more than one dozen variants. And out, outbreak of 1996, 92% are AFSU, AFSU uh, our own virus and 8% it's B uh, variant subtype of uh, HIV. That's the way the graph looks like uh, phylogenetically. Uh, Svetlogorsk outbreak. Uh, yeah, and we didn't cluster this group of patients within the uh, remaining group, but actually it's a 100% coincidence of those genomes on GAG and random, uh, different types, uh, regions of virus genome. Then there were outbreaks later on in 2014 and 2016 in Minsk. Capital of Belarus, there are seven different clusters, seven different groups of drug addicts uh, who, along with the drugs, uh, received HIV. Those groups are isolated, they are not linked to each other in between. All of them uh, were actually taking drugs separately, but in Svetogorsk, uh, they were using opiates, they were brought in Coca-Cola cans, but in that other case, it, those were synthetic drugs, uh, IV intravenously. And as to those variants of virus, they didn't cluster with Svetogorsk variants. They were entirely different variants of virus, uh, virulence. Although the HSA6 subtype of HIV was there. Here is the uh, structure of some genotypes, genotypes A6, B, C, G, recombinant formula has been growing year in, year in, out. And the structure is changing, and uh, we can see very interesting uh, 0, 1, 0, uh, A, B in a recombinant form. One of our residents came for a vacation, went for a vacation to China and brought back this interesting variant of the virus. Uh, we analyzed all those variants. We know their origin, where they are from, the Chinese variant, and that's our local recombinant for many know that it's a girl born by HIV-infected mother with many contacts, uh, multiple contacts. So it, it, she was infected by different variants of A and B subtypes of vir virulence. That's the way A, E, uh, B recombinant, recombinant form looks like. Uh, very interesting, uh, actual uh, B subtype situation. Lots of introductions and imports, even out of the Caribbean and the US, uh, uh, a little bit from Ukraine, but bottom line. Uh, B variant flow comes along from Russian Federation. Our B variants are uh, like associated with Russian B variants. We don't know whether Russians come along to Belarus or the other way around, but well, they are present. Typically, it's MSN. Uh, that is men having sex with men. As to G type. Uh, we discussed that from Mos with Moscow colleagues, and we published an article about G subtype. That was the first uh, variant out of Nigeria. And these are two G variants of virus described in Belarus. It's the same cluster, same source, two drug addicts from one and the same uh, city. 
very interesting recombinant forms. A, B, we have got A, B, uh, A, Bs, which were described a while ago by Alexei and Marina Babkov in Kaliningrad, but there are variants, viral variants, which uh, just are not clustering with anything else, only between themselves. Lithuanian uh, variant, Grodninsky region in 2003. Uh, in Vilnius and Lithuania, there was the outre outbreak and it was recombinant AB form infection. And now they are in Belarus as well. There are those variants which are only related to each other in Mogilov's, uh, Mogilov region and uh, Neuroslaminsk region. They are not clustering with any other options, but only between variants, but only between themselves. Uh, we think that these uh, viral recombinant were recombinant in Belarus. In database, there are no pairs for them. Uh, on the whole, about the situation, I will be brief. Uh, this process in Belarus is supported by our Belarusian options, uh, viral options, which are shown by red in the uh, uh, slide. Different towns, Brest region, Gomel, Gomel region, Minsk region, all the variants are ours, uh, local, very good locus is uh, here, 0 0.9. Uh, people or patients uh, get infected uh, more frequently from the same source and mostly from drug dealer. A subtype could be uh, transferred uh, by genital drugs, uh, sexual or uh, through drugs, synthetic drugs, uh, intravenous uh, and uh, uh, actually, when it's synthetic drugs, uh, uh, drug addicts become very active. They dance actively and they feel horny, so to put it, they have sex, and hence the uh, propagation of this uh, virus. Actually, mutations of resistance of high level to different classes uh, to line one, pyrrhides, ninglucine, and reverse transcriptase inhibitors. You can see protease inhibitors and others here. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Questions? I have one. You mentioned that for a detection of recombinant forms, you sequence CUN1 in NSP uh, region on uh, just uh, the uh, C vi hepatitis uh, virus. Uh, you look at the end and the beginning of genome. We didn't have this task in particular, but now as we have different direct action uh, drugs, uh, so NS5YA and NS5B are available for recombinant forms we do on NS5B.